Okay, so when you work with more than just one input, you want to combine them. For example, if I had Perlin noise right here, and I create more and I at this point, I want them combined. To do this, I will use combiner. We have it three different combiners provided. One, it's a height chooser. So if we open, you notice right here, we have a different type of the inputs of the height. So we can have it eight. Okay, and right here we have it eight inputs values. Okay. And we can have it transaction contrast between. So it's meaning the black, the white points. So we have it and all the steps between. It's meaning when we add connection to them, this chooser will select base it on our transitional contrast on the height between them. And again, remember the world machine using from zero to one. So whatever value from zero to one, it's mean it will select this. So if we have a 10 inputs, it's meaning this is value will be increment from 0 0.01 and more. Except if we modify transition control, it will skew one way or another. Okay, we probably use this one sometimes when we work more on materials placement based on a height. So next we have it the our chooser. Okay, and you notice right here we have it three inputs. So this is kind of straightforward. It says first method on chooser. It's between A and B based on the high values of C. So depend on the value. It's like a trigger depend. And um, other ones it's a B depend reverse and another one indicated by C. So in some cases, think about this, it's a switch. So we have a different inputs and base it on a control values. We can switch between those two values. Okay, this is kind of or or this or that input. So you can adjust and think about this control by the high value. For example, I can say, I want those rocks that I created only on this level, the round rocks, so they will create on low elevation and a sharper rocks on a higher elevation. We have another ones which is just basic combiner and these prefer more smooth kind of effect. So for example, if I have, okay, let me connect so we can preview. Right, and combiner. And by the way, the connect mode is kind of important. So you won't sometimes look on this. But what's happening, this is how will affect how the combiner work between this two nodes. So right here we have a different type of the method. And average, it is a take um, average of two trains to get a, that uh, string parameter control and weigh them on an average. So next we have an add. It's going to take one and just simply add amount to another one. Second, it's when subtract, take one value and subtract. Again, think about the numbers from zero to one. So if it was 1, it was 0, 2, and another 0, 1. Add, it will produce result 0, 3. Subtract, it's produced 0, 1. Multiply, same things, it will multiply some effects. So the higher values, two higher values give it the higher. Okay, and um, so you normalize kind of. Max, it will take tallest and apply to each point. So it's the highest point. This take lowest point. The power, it's expanded of the first terrain. Remember how I said it's important. It's take first terrain and expanded upon based on the second. So it kind of need work on this. And a root, it's take the um, first terrain. Again, positioning is kind of important in this one. Uh, with very power based and upon the second. So we also can take details of the smallest one and apply. This is kind of other ones add in the latest version so we can have a different details amount if higher applied differences for example if um, both have a value of 0, 05 it's one effect but if it's have a different values for example right here it will apply those differences and screen similar like in the um, higher value will apply over low similar like in Photoshop is using screen value before of course all this we have a string how we can apply effect 
of the second on a first. So how I say it's very important. So right here you can see no string. We take all Mirai and how much we affecting. So if I'm going and select this as a first and this as a second, you'll notice right here we have it advanced problem and we slightly start applying effect of the run I see it's different changes so how say uh, be sure you want to use it as a first input your main and modifications you want to use it as a secondary input so it will help as well um, so let me go on details for example and right here you can see slightly of course um, the combiner as well they all have the mask input and you can use it this mask input to mask only specific areas they're affecting example we'll again take it around we'll take it apply it to the mask and you can see right now this effect only the middle point where is a mask effect so the edges not affected at all with our modification we can go to like add maybe and you can see we apply only on the middle of this it's another nice way by with combiner you can create nice mountain just in the middle of your scenery or for example lake when we'll go create it we'll use some of this masking and combiner to control that